Alright guys, so today I decided to stop at Goodwill. Eric and I were out yard sailing this morning. I had to get my car to take it to the shop because my um, chimes in my car stopped working, like my turn signal uh, chimes, and when my car turns on and, on and off, it makes a noise, so I had to get that fixed. Uh, well, they actually had to order a part, uh, but we didn't really have much left uh, yard sailing today. We kind of made it a, a quick little thing because we just weren't really feeling it and then we went to the market and got something to eat for lunch so eric went home and i went and picked up my car and i decided to stop at goodwill so we're going to go in and see if i have any better luck at the thrift store today than i did at yard sales so let's check it out i decided that i'm just gonna start randomly instead of the aisles that i normally do so Let's see if we can. What is this thing? This looks like maybe dollhouse furniture, like a footstool or something. For not necessarily a dollhouse, but for a larger doll. Which is cute. Look, there's an M for Michelle. Poopery. Go figure, I start in the pink aisle, but it's just the funnest, right? Like, look at the neon colors. Ah! Got this cat. I just got something similar to this at a yard sale that has like this little door, but you put a candle inside of it. Nail polishes, those are pretty. Morgan Taylor TV. I like those. I don't really need more nail polish, but I'm really digging that pink and purple, and even the blue. I may get those for myself, so we'll see. What is this? That's beautiful. This is a puzzle. It's all in French. That is really cool. De Jeco. I like that. That's really pretty. I might look that up just to, to see. Scented marker here. What's that smell like? Raspberry cheesecake. Oh my goodness. I am such a child, but I need that. <laughs> I really want to smell it too. Oh crap, I just knocked something over. It's a BB set. Okay. Alright. Oh, what's this? Every time I see like mugs with the girls on them it makes me think it's a henry bendel but it's not will i ever get that lucky again i don't know so let's see if there's anything in the green section so so far i only found stuff for myself what is this it's got like a birthday themed teapot Girl Scout uniform. Okay, let's make our way down here farther. Let's see. This looks like the shelves are pretty stocked. Not anything that's like jumping out at me right now. Aside from this donut here. I don't know if that's a bath bomb. I'm not sure. I don't want to touch it too much. Just don't want to mess it up or anything the great milk mustache maker that's a really big purple vase what's inside here oh it's a bowling ball not anything too exciting there i did get a bowling ball at the thrift store before i have yet to sell it i was gonna keep it for myself it's a hello kitty one um, but I may end up selling it because Eric and I never go bowling and I just don't foresee me <laughs> ever actually using it. I'd like to go bowling though, but we just never make it there. Nutcracker, ballerina, she's missing her arm. Here's an older jewelry box. Not really keen on the look and it's not in very good condition. This is like an onion saver, I guess. 
I have one of those, but I really don't use it. There's literally like nothing in there. It's just the empty <laughs> bottle. <laughs> oh goodness, Goodwill. This thing is older actually. This Walt Disney World um, back scratcher. Yeah, that's older. We had one of these at one point. I'll look that up just to make sure it's not anything worth picking up at a dollar ninety-nine. But I'll probably put it back, but we'll see. This has a lot of flakies off of it, that little hobnail. Vase. Empty tin there. So Alright, I did end up putting back the Mickey back scratcher, looks like someone has one listed um, with a matching mini for like $11, so, oh, I absolutely love the look of these types of jewelry boxes, I think they call these, um, I want to say, casket boxes or something along those lines the ones that you can kind of see through it's really pretty it's a dollar 99 obviously i'd take the flowers out of it um it does look like it has a little bit of you know something or other to the size it's nice though i like it is it taped i'm so scared that when i take this tape off it's gonna bring up all of that gold there on it. I'm gonna open it and make sure that doesn't happen. And this is why I have no problem opening stuff. This whole thing is broken. So had I bought that, it would have been broken. So I think it's kind of crappy that they do stuff like that to hide the fact that something is broken. But what can you do? That's upsetting because I've been wanting a jewelry box like that for a while now see these are temptations but they're all chipped up oh this is like a little stationary set that's cute um i'm gonna look that up as well just because sometimes older stationary sets can do well depending on you know, the theme and stuff like that. These are like little geeseys. Alright, I saw someone has one listed that's brand new, still sealed for like 14 I think one, Oh, I don't think that price actually goes on that, but regardless, I'm not going to pick it up. Like, look at all these have chips. That has chip, that has a chip, that has a chip. I just don't foresee anyone buying stuff like that. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but... Oh, check out this candle. It's shaped like a castle. That is cool. It's neat. I bought a vintage turtle candle at a filler bag rummage sale that never sold. I don't know if this would. I was, uh, I'm debating on the candle. It kind of reminds me of the Hogwarts castle, but it's definitely vintage. Um, I don't know. It's 99 cents. I saw one similar sell for like 13, but I'm still kind of up in the air about that one. So we'll see if I commit or not to that. Oh, that's like a jewelry. Oh my gosh, I had something like this when I was younger. These like pop apart beads to make like jewelry and stuff. Whoa, check out this thing. That's pretty cool. It's like wall hanging of these dragons. It's neat. I don't want it though. It feels, it doesn't feel like very good quality. My first bunny, baby connection. 
I don't know, we're gonna have to look it up just to make sure. It's kind of dirty, but it can be washed. And succulent is black. Okay, what are we seeing? Anything? Not really. I feel like today is just not a good sourcing day. But those days happen. I don't always find stuff. I know it seems like I do, but it's not always successful. So, I mean, maybe I'll still end up finding something. We can't give up hope yet, right? Okay, let's check over here. The, like I said, the shelves are pretty, pretty full, but... There's not much good on them. What's in here? It looks like Hurricane. There's an old measuring cup and spoon set. This looks very, very cheap. Remember, stress spelled backwards is desserts. That's cute. It's like a cookie jar. I couldn't find that cookie jar. The horse is nice. He doesn't have any markings or anything. Sometimes it's hard to like know if it's made by someone or if it's just like a painted piece. Like this looks like something someone like hand painted type of thing. What are these glasses? These look interesting. Sangria. Oh, those are cool. I'm gonna stick them in my cart for now. We'll look them up here in a minute. All right. I couldn't find the sangria cups, but I am gonna take those just because they're really cool looking. They're obviously vintage, so. We're just gonna take a chance with them. Regardless. But I still haven't committed to that uh, candle yet. <laughs> I'm like really up in the air about that. That nativity is nice. This appears to be a jewelry box. Some sort. It's back here. Some cork pieces. What am I looking at? I'm not even sure. Oh, there's like paper in there. Kind of figured it was just an empty box, but it's not. Okay, what's this? Just a little trinket box that's from at home. Down here in this Barrington Bear. I guess it's worth a look. It looks like this. I don't want that. I'm gonna put it back there. Oh wow. Kind of cool looking. The Bon Appetit Kitchen Collection. It's like little cookbooks in there. Oh, I'm stuck on something. I don't know what I'm... I'm totally stuck on something. It's that Studio Nova. I'm trying to like get in some recordings that the music isn't blaring. <laughs> I will never understand Goodwill and their incessant need to scream the music. It's crazy. I found this really cool cat and a banana. It says it's called a banania. The kitty who lives in a banana. It's by Funko. So I want to get him. He's cute. I love stuff like that. Um, I did look him up. It looks like one sold for like $19, so not too bad considering it's only $1.99. I 
I hate, absolutely loathe and despise how Goodwill like shelves their stuffed animals. Like nothing ever wants to stay on the shelf. It's ridiculous. I wish they would just throw it in like a big bin and be done with it. But you know, what do I know? All right guys, so we are here in my room so I can show you the haul of stuff that I picked up at Goodwill. So as you could see from the footage, I wasn't really finding a whole lot of things. The whole day just was not such a great day for sourcing. And like I said in the video, it does seem sometimes like I find stuff all the time. But that's not always the case. Some days I do have dry days and that was like a pretty dry day for me. Um, but I did pick up some things at Goodwill. So I just wanted to share with you what I decided to pick up. Um, nothing really all that fantastic. I'll just say that. Um, one of the first things I got was this plush here. This is Simba from The Lion King and it is a Build-A-Bear plush. Um, it does say here on his foot, uh, B-A-B, that stands for build bear and then the Lion King. He's really soft, super cute. Um, I have been finding build bear plushies kind of frequently here lately, and I, I am, like, not really sure which ones are worth picking up and which ones are not so i am going to be doing a bolo 411 video on build-a-bear because there are some build-a-bears out there that are worth a decent amount so i did pay a dollar 99 for this which i thought was a good deal regardless um i mean it is a disney uh, character as well so a dollar 99 for him and i listed him up as a buy it now for 19 dollars and 99 cents so We'll see if he goes. I do have a couple Build-A-Bear uh, plushies on eBay currently. In keeping with the plushies, I found this guy here and I just fell in love. Uh, its name is called Banania and it's a cat in a banana peel and it actually has some Velcro here. So you can put, put him back in... Let me see if it'll stick. There we go. So you can put him back in his um, peel and then actually unpeel him, which is just so stinking cute. Um, it's just a little black cat with a red bow tie, and he is made by Funko. So I picked him up, and I paid, again, $1.99 for him. It's kind of weird. Like, this was $1.99, and the larger Build-A-Bear was $1.99. You would think that a smaller plush would be slightly cheaper, but, you know, it's Goodwill. So regardless, $1.99 for this. I put it up on auction with a starting price of $19.99. This is, um, oh goodness, 7 inches, I want to say, maybe 6. I can't remember now off the top of my head. So he's a smaller version. I don't know if there are any of this size currently listed. But if you would ever come across him in a larger size, I think it was a GameStop exclusive. The larger ones, especially if they have their tags, can sell for a lot higher price. Um, but I did pick him up and it took like everything I had within myself to not keep that. I got a set of these vintage sangria glasses. It's a lot of six of them. There were six in the bag. I only brought up a couple here. But they're just like amber glasses. And they have this like leather encasing with kind of like a, not necessarily rickrack, but that kind of trim. And you can remove those so you can clean the glasses. Um, but I just thought they were really unique and interesting. I paid $2.99 for the bag of six. I couldn't find any real information on them as far as who they were originally made by or anything like that. Uh, but I did list these up on auction with a starting price of $39.99. So I don't know if that's too high or if it'll sell for that or if there'll be more than one person that is interested in them. But that's just what I went with since I had nothing to go by. So, so we'll see um, where they end up. But I just had to pick them up because they were really cool and different. 
I also found this Starbucks tumbler. This is like a um, vacuum insulated tumbler. It's matte black, really nice. Um, I could tell it was a Starbucks tumbler right away, but I definitely can feel like if people don't really know what they're looking at or looking for, they'd walk right past something like this. But I could see this little emblem down here was the Starbucks logo. This is a really nice tumbler. It's just very sleek, feels really good in the hand. Um, I only paid 99 cents for this. It is a 20 ounce, and when I looked it up, um, it's supposed to keep your drinks warm for up to at least five hours, so I thought that was really cool. And it's newer. Like, I think it just came out last year, so um, definitely a newer uh, Starbucks item. So I only paid 99 cents for this, and I listed it as a buy it now for $29.99. Um, most of the other ones that I saw were listed higher than that, so we'll see if it goes for that. I got two pieces of clothing. The first one is this tank top here, and it says Foxy on it, and that is a character from um, Five Nights at Freddy's, and this is a women's size 2XL, so I picked that up. And I know Five Nights at Freddy's has um, a pretty good following, so and it was a good size. I paid $3.25 for the tank top, and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I went with an auction on this because there are none currently listed in this size, so I didn't know if maybe it would be slightly more desirable or not if more than one person would want it. So I got that and this next item was kind of a, a slight fail. Um, I don't normally buy um, jerseys and sports stuff because I don't know nothing about it all. But I thought this was a really nice basketball jersey. It is by Adidas and it says France on the front. It's a size large and I was just assuming it was a men's large, but turns out it's actually a youth large, not a men's. Um, so unfortunately, this isn't really worth much. Um, I did pay, I paid $3.50 for it and I have it listed as a buy it now of $19.99. So not great. Um, but I think it's a really nice jersey, so maybe it will go regardless. I did get this uh, pack of, it's called, M well, MTV, I guess they, the brand, what I'm trying to say is Morgan Taylor is the brand of the nail polish, but I guess they did a collaboration with MTV. Uh, they were 99 cents. They're smaller um, bottles. They're not like what I consider full size bottles of nail polish, but I really like the colors in them. I have so much nail polish. I do not need more nail polish, but um, it was only 99 cents. I thought that was a good deal. And I know this brand is pretty good. So I just decided to get it for myself. Plus I have to do my nails. I have some like color street nail wraps on and they're just, they're ready to be taken off and I got to do my nails. Uh, next thing I got was this, um, White Barn for Bath & Body Works uh, Wallflower Refill. And this is in the scent Cinnamon and Clove Buds. So I did pay $1.99 for this. And it smells really good. I didn't look it up, so I don't know if this fragrance is, you know, worth anything. If it's still available right now or anything like that. So if it's not worth anything, I do plan on just keeping it for myself. It's a nice, um... It will be a nice fragrance for uh, fall and winter because it's a really warm fragrance. I got a stack of Babysitter's Club books. So there are 11 books here and I think I picked up one or two at yard sales so far this summer that I found. So I'm pretty much just trying to gather as many as I can and then I will lock them up and list them. Um, Cause obviously the more you have of a series, the more, you know, you can ask for um, the books. So this is 11 of them and the books, soft cover books at Goodwill are 99 cents. So I paid, um, 
$11 and some change for those. So I thought that was still a decent deal. I really want to read them. I had some of them when I was younger, but I didn't have, you know, like a complete series or anything like that. And Netflix does have a Babysitter's Club um, TV series. And I remember I watched, it wasn't like a ton of episodes or anything like that, like the first season. I'm assuming they'll make a second season, but I don't know when that'll come out. And it was really cute. I loved it. So hopefully they come out with another season of that. And then the last thing I got, and you guys saw me pick this up, was a Sento's scented marker. This is in the scent Raspberry Cheesecake. I had to get it because I love pens and stationery and stuff like that and you know I just I couldn't say no for this so I paid 99 cents for it and for the fun of it I'm gonna open it and smell it and we're gonna see if it smells anything like raspberry cheesecake so I've waited so long so long to open this right literally a day <laughs> this is a chunky marker it's got hearts all over it, so it's really cute. Oh, it has a very sweet smell, just like sniffing it. So let me, let me just write something here and I'll smell it. Yeah, it's not a strong scent by any means, but that's how it writes, if you're curious. Um. But it does, it does have a nice sweet smell to it. Ah, so fun. Had to get it for 99 cents. Uh, but that is everything for this haul. I apologize, it wasn't like the best Goodwill, not the best Goodwill footage and or best Goodwill haul ever. Um, Goodwill just, you know, they play their music so incredibly loud and a lot of times I feel like I have to do voiceovers uh, for the video, which just aren't as fun in my opinion. I like just being there in the moment and discovering things and talking about them as I'm seeing and looking at them. Um, so when editing a video <laughs> that, you know, is a lot of music in the background, it takes an extremely long time to edit those types of videos, um, just so you don't get like, um, a strike on your account because you can't have music playing in your YouTube videos um, because, you know, you won't be able to monetize your video, basically. So it just takes a long time to edit them. <laughs> um, but anyway, I still had fun. I still really like going into the thrift store and taking a look around, but um, I'm excited about the things that I did find. I think everything was pretty decent aside from maybe I probably shouldn't have picked up that adidas jersey but regardless i'm still not too too shabby so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you next time